Uh, today I'm going to talk about a very deep subject, the death. Uh, it, uh, I wanted to recording it so I don't forget the subject. So even if it's Sunday, I, I normally doesn't recording on Sundays, but uh, this time I do that because it's very important to understand this with death. It's a, uh, I think it's a uh, July twenty one, twenty twenty three, and I. I have changed my name uh, after being uh, to Jerusalem for the fourth time and my name is Anna today and that was my first name from the beginning uh, but uh, uh, in some way my parents called me something else and now I, I'm Anna and I live in Sweden. And I have, uh, in the year 2000, I was on my way to make a suicide because life seemed so very bad. Everything was against me. And uh, uh, before I go to the lake, to go into the lake and, and kill myself, uh, a higher priest from heaven come. I didn't know it was a higher priest, but I have learned from from afterlife um, those that is in my home from heaven uh, that it was a higher priest. And uh, I uh, and then after the highest priest was gone god come and talk to me about the future so it was 2000 it happened i before that i didn't know god i was 48 years old and i had not known god but uh, with that th uh, thinking to make a suicide the higher priest come and help me and uh, so now i'm going to talk about death i have talked about that before in in another way to look at death because there is a spirit death and there is a body death and um, and the spirit death uh, you can still go on and live your life it's only that you don't have any contact with god and after life they try to hit you they try to come in contact with you but you you are so dead in the spirit so you don't hear and you don't see any sign of them wanted to talk to you and then uh, we have the body death and that is what i am going to talk about today and i i hope i i get help from those in the afterlife to explain the whole thing. It's be. I, I am very curious about it uh, if it will happen. But uh, from the start, I'm talking from myself, and then I will see if the uh, spirits coming through and talk to us about death. And uh, it's very cold here in Sweden. Uh, it's not like in south of Europe. 
Here is it very, very cold for to be in July. And, um, and I don't know if I'm freezing in my body or is it a spirit that is already here that uh, touching me. I don't know yet uh, what it is. And um, um, about the, uh, the death of the body, it's, it's giving a, a, a answer in that way that uh, Jesus was saying at the cross. He said that it was completed just when he died. And uh, that is uh, the key word of death, is completed. It means uh, the, uh, the earthly life is completed. We can't do any, any, any more things here on earth with our body because it's completed it it's gone it stop your life with death with the body death and um, it's um, it is it's now or never you can do things in your earthly body to make you live longer than than only the stop of the death in your body it's uh, uh, if you want to live a longer life in the afterlife you need to to look at your life now because no one knows when it's time to go and uh, you can't say to death uh, wait a little I have other things to do I must do these things you can't say that because it's if it's completed, it is completed. Your life is stop here on earth, and you need to have a prepared for death by doing what you're supposed to do in good ways if you want to live longer in heaven. And um, I have talked about how it looked like in hell where I have been uh, I was not there for myself it was a learning how it looked like in hell and I have described it in another chapter and you that follow me you have listened at that chapter and uh, so the most uh, listen chapter I have on this in this podcast is this uh, that uh, it's hell in a hospital or something like that and uh, and it's sad that people want to hear negative things they uh, think they should know uh, like the area hell by that chapter and I wrote it like that for those negative people to listen at it to get to see how many many listener I will have if I write that title about hell and that it, and I I knew it already, but I got it confirmed that is the the most listened chapter. And uh, 
It is uh, this with death. What is the meaning of death? That is, is the subject for just now. And uh, I need to uh, get help from afterlife to know exactly what it is. But uh, it is like Jesus was saying, is completely, they, it's complete. And uh, that is the, your life. You can't go back to life and do something else and change what you have said and done. You need to do it uh, when you are here on earth. Before that time will come. But you don't know when the time it will come when it's you have complete your life here on earth. Uh, most people are surprised when they when they realize that they are in the end of their life here on earth. So you it's what what those in heaven have uh, those in the afterlife have told us that we should be prepared. We must know what will happen in the end of our life and have prepared for that to could enter into heaven peaceful and not be I have told you about uh, I was up to heaven once because I was frightened to take the airplane from United States to Sweden, back to Sweden. I was very scared uh, because when I took the flight from Sweden to United States, in the year 2000 i was uh, i was uh, yeah i had fear because when i was on the airplane up in the air suddenly the airplane fell down like being in an elevator and um, the captain the uh, on the airplane, he say that we have lost uh, an engine, engine motor in the airplane, and that's why we we were falling in the air. It's not that it was flying uh, forward; it sink down in the air. And um, and then the, it they started again with the engine, and I was had a fear because of what happened when I took the airplane to to United States in two thousand, and so heaven helped me in that way that. Uh, certainly, uh, uh, in the night uh, when I was uh, sleeping, I go up to heaven, and uh, I was standing in a line of people, and uh, in front of us there was like an office desk, and a big, big, big uh, book was laying there, and then behind the office desk was a an archangel. I say an archangel because the the wings she she had, she had wings. And um, behind her, it was laying, maybe um, three four meter away from her. The wings, 
it was so big wings and I was wondering how can she hold it up the wings but it's not a, a earthly weight uh, the wings was uh, was uh, no no weight on so she could carry it and it maybe was only for us to see it so it doesn't exist really and uh, but it was this that there was a woman before me and she was crying and she didn't want to go into heaven because she had so much more going on on earth so so she she had to go in into heaven the archangel told her to go and uh, and i be uh, worried because i didn't know of the life and god so much in that time so i i say to the archangel that i need to to be on earth a little more and uh, i ask permission to come back to to earth and and i say and she asked me how many years do you want uh, and i i say to her 10 years i say to her asking and the angel answer me i give you 20 years she say and uh, i have passed that the, those years so i wonder if she took 20 and 10 years so 30 years to live i don't know and maybe it was only for to make me relax and could take the airplane back home when i needed to go back to sweden from united states and maybe it was that because i be i had easily uh, i could easily take the flight uh, back to sweden without any fear and so it it was about this woman before me that she was crying and she was she didn't want to go into heaven she was not prepared that what she told the archangel but the archangel sent her sent her into heaven without she could do anything she that was before me and that is is for you that i'm telling you it's too late when you're standing in a line in front of the archangel in heaven and then you say i'm not really done with with uh, what i should do on earth you need to do it before the time will come when god call you and um, it's uh, it, it seems like it is a spirit now here And uh, it looked like an angel. It looked like an angel, but she don't have those long wings. But she she is an angel. And um, she act like she is she teaching she bowed down a little to 
She want to whisper in my ear, she say. So uh, I wonder what she want, wanted to say that she can't say loudly. She say it's a secret she is saying. That's why she whisper. Hmm? So I will see what she's going to say that is so secret. The, it's those uh, scared, uh, holy things that we should not know. But she want to tell me and tell you that listen. She say you know that you have lived more than one life. She's saying to me, and that's uh, this uh, secret she want to tell that uh, that some some of you that listen that follow me that you have already lived some lives and and that is um, I tell her that uh, we are talking about uh, death what is the meaning with death and it's um, she talking about completeness in life she said for some is not death completeness she is saying this um, uh, she is saying that is uh, on every person that uh, that go away from earth and go to heaven uh, we also be reminded about that person's life when she or he is in the in the heavenly court and uh, the life is rolling up and it's showing us uh, and we look at it all together uh, that um, before that person is coming to heaven there is only some uh, some spirits and angels that have followed this person but up in the heavenly court we we look at it uh, look at the life and see if it's completely complete as it should be uh, when we send this person down to earth to walk and uh, there is uh, is some reason sometimes that that person walk away from the plan we had for that person and it's not completed the plan is not completed so we send this person down once again and the the meaning of death is to close the book of that person's life but we can't close the book if it's not completed. That's what the spirit is saying. I start to be a little I like crying because I understand what she or he is talking about. 
that we need to complete the plan that heaven have for us. Uh, so we, in their love for us, they love us so much because we were created in that way that he wanted us to be. And we, we come to earth with a plan uh, from heaven. And But life here on earth is so very, very hard. And, uh, and the devil and those children of the devil is so very smart and they know us i have talking about that many times they know us and they play with that to make us walk away from the plan this uh, this angel is showing me a picture of a person coming down with a scroll in in its hand that scroll should be open and fulfilled but if it's not fulfilled be completed uh, and it's very big gap and that person have been a good person but it's still have had going away from that plan. They give you a chance, one more chance to live a complete life after the plan. So it, it is very important to ask God and uh, after life through god you need to go through god to ask those in after life what you could done better with your life and what you can do better when you still are on earth you have to communicate with after life it's it's not about asking God or asking Jesus, but asking those in afterlife to help you to understand how to live your life. And uh, you get much of it here together with me. And... Um, and the answer, if you have not understand it, I say once again, the death is completeness. And that, that means that, that you will not coming back. But if the, it not completed, the death is not completed, you need to come back. If you were a good person and tried to do your best, but you didn't understood because you were in in your church and those that preach for you say something else, they lie for you because they were not from God, they were from the devil and they wanted you to to walk away from the plan and and you did that, but you, in your heart, you wanted to do the right things. And that is why the death was not completed in you. So you have to live one more life. And that's, that is the spiritual meaning of death. That death is completed life. And you will, will take the consequence of what you have done. If the, you don't have that in your heart. That you want 
want to be just just as you can't be perfect because we are human but uh, but uh, be the best you can be for god for heaven and afterlife so you can go with them in afterlife be together with them and not only running around on the meadow what you will ask for to come into the city not to go running around on the meadow because the, those are like children and they are not thinking about serious things they are not thinking about those people that is left behind that still are here on earth that they need help so you should ask for to come into the city that uh, you uh, you may uh, some people have maybe uh, read that book to to go for the stars but you may be going just over the treetops but you should take one step higher you should not ask for to only come into heaven because then you be on the meadow you should ask to come into the city uh, and uh, it's not maybe granted for you that's uh, what you want to do your own will but the the heaven and afterlife and god they know what you have been up to in your life so you may be going to the meadow but you should ask to come into the city that's uh, that's your goal your target but it may be not be granted that's the other thing because you have not lived after what you should have done you have not been walking in god's plan that you had in your hand the day when you were born here on earth you had a plan in your hand already but you let them talking into you to walk away from the plan you listen too much of uh, of people that was around you and you you listen at your family because that was your family you thought but they maybe was not your family because your your real family is in heaven and not those that you were born into that family you need to stand on your own to make decision when you are old enough to could do decision you need to look after yourself where you are in god's plan for your life and if you don't know the plan you should ask for that you ask heaven to show you the plan that you were born with you hold it in your hand and a hand means action hand means action so that's what you should do but you open up your hand and drop the plan very quick in your life and then you never find it but you can find it by asking asking after life what was the plan god had for me when i come to earth 
let me could understand the plan that I hold in my hand, the action I should make in my life. It's a, it's like a prayer I did now for you. Uh, but you should not repeat what I say, but about the same words you should pray for. Not, uh, you should never copy a prayer. It's a, a prayer is your personal talking to God. And have nothing with books to do. It's from your heart to God, your prayer. I hope you understand this. Uh, that death is completeness. So, God bless you.